Konnichiwa, Bokuwa Alexander Usher. I am from Horizon Academy and train karate with the Red Dragon Martial Arts Academy. I have been training for seven years and started when I was four years old. I was very shy at first, but after a while I wasn't as shy anymore. Karate has also helped me make a few friends along the way. Enough about that. Today I will be talking about my favorite weapon, the sword, but more specifically, the katana. This is how we show respect to our weapon. It also helps us remind ourselves that this isn't a time to play around, but a time to be serious. The katana is a Japanese sword characterized by a curved single edge blade. By single edge blade, I mean that only one side of the sword is sharpened. It also has a circular or squared guard called a soba and a long grip to accommodate two hands. It was used by the samurai of ancient and feudal Japan. In sword training, it is very important to know how to draw your sword. Sometimes your life could depend on how quickly you drew it because remember, this weapon was used in feudal Japan during the war era. And what a lot of people don't know is that when you draw your sword, you'll put your thumb on the soba and flick outwards. But at the same time while you flick outwards, you'll turn the whole scabbard to the side. Once you have your sword out, you can do almost anything with it, such as offensive moves and defensive moves. But for now, we will be working on defensive moves. First move, the rising block. Imagine an attack coming towards your head. You will draw your sword and raise it to meet the attack. Ta! Next one, the downward parry. Now imagine an attack coming towards your stomach. You will draw your sword and raise it to meet the attack. Now, if an attack is coming to the left or right side of your body, it will come naturally that you draw your sword and lower it to meet the attack. On the other side. Now I will be showing you offensive moves. So grab your imaginary katanas, stand up and let's get to it. First move I'll show you is a horizontal strike. You will draw your sword, wind up, and slide straight through an imaginary line crossing your neck. Again. One more time, but fast. Next one, the downward strike. You will draw your sword, wind up, and slice straight through an imaginary line crossing from your head all the way to your stomach. Again. One more time, but fast. Next one, the diagonal strike. You will draw your sword and slice from your right shoulder to the left part of your hip. And imagine that same line on the other side. One more time, but fast. Now, this is what a combination of all moves would look like. Arigato gozaimashita.